Hello everyone, I am Ajit Kumar Kabhi here and I am here to discuss about the 4Q FY21 results of Bank of Baroda. So in 4Q FY21, Bank of Baroda has delivered an expected result on operating and asset quality and the collection efficiency is front. Moreover, resumption of asset classification has translated the slippages of Rs 123 billion. However, the bank has witnessed total slippages of 213 billion lower than FY20 slippages of around 450 billion. Moreover, the collection efficiency of domestic loans showed 96% versus 93% declared earlier. The reported GNPA 8.87% against 9.63% in third quarter of FY21. The NNPA came down to 3.09% versus 3.36% in third quarter of FY21 with an higher PCR of 81.8%. The bank has witnessed a stable net advances growth of 2.3% YOY and 1.1% sequentially. The deposit growth 2.2% YOY and 1.3% QOQ was better with better liquidity position of LCR more than 140%. Moreover, Bank of Baroda has reported net loss of 10.5 billion on the back of DTA adjustment. The tax expenses was 37.3 billion against 5.7 billion in the previous quarter. Factoring the difference between the reported NPA and the pro forma NPA. We believe the COVID provision of 32 billion could absorb half of the existing stress. The remaining half can be managed with the internal accruals. The profitability may soar with lower provision and a lower tax regime. We believe the negatives are in price and an inexpensive valuation of 0.6 price to book value makes Bank of Baroda an attractive buy. So we expect Bank of Baroda to post a ROA and ROE of 0.6% and 8.7% by FY23E, led by stable balance sheet growth along with higher PCR and steady asset quality. We value the standalone bank at a multiple of 0.8x FY23E book value per share and reach a price target of 107. So we had there is an earning potential of more than 32%. So I believe we should stay investing in Bank of Baroda and make certain more investment in Bank of Baroda now. So the PSU banks are going to roar in next few quarters and I believe in banking sector PSU banks, the large PSU banks are going to perform better in FY22. So, thank you. Happy investing.